Hey, what's up guys? So a smorgasbord of uh, PAA products today, Bailey's Irish Coffee uh, for the actual shaving soap. We will be using PAA The Cube and because I don't have the matching after splash, we will use uh, Awesome Sauce. Uh, that's actually Chris Bailey's head right there, I am CDB. Uh, also, the QED Select Manchurian Knot 1924. Uh, excellent, excellent knot. And finally, it's been honed for a while, but I just haven't shaved with it. Our Hovenden's uh, 18, I'm gonna go ahead and just peg it at 1894. Um, I'm pretty sure, like I said in the other video with it, they don't have the jumps on here as they do with with the typical uh, other Hovindens. Um they're, they're rare anyway, but uh, they, they had the jumps on there uh, after like the 1900, 1901, something like that. So it's it's pretty darn cool. We have a uh, edge on it. So let's go ahead and wet the face really quick with some warm water. We'll open up our cube, our PAA cube, and... Uh, get after it so I've been in the Sun all day today actually I've been able to accomplish quite a bit outside just with with things that needed to get done around the house and um, you know during during winter I kind of stove up um, I don't like to do too much I enjoy the, the Cold weather. I always prefer cold weather above warm weather. Uh, but I will say the yard work, although there's not much of it in winter, there is some stuff that needs tending to, and I just put it off, you know, until it absolutely has to get done, and then I do it in the winter. But in the summertime, I'm typically pretty quick with getting things done. All right, so I've had this cube for probably a year, year and a half. I don't use it every shave. But I, I do use it often, maybe once every five shaves or so. So probably once a week, regardless if it's recorded or not. And uh, <clears throat> if I got one again, it wouldn't be the mentholated version. The mentholated version is extremely <laughs> heavy on the menthol. Whew, excellent, excellent scent on this man. They they nailed this out of the park. Actually, a lot of a lot of the scents that PAA does, they nail out of the park. Ooh, very very nice. I really do love the PAA. Uh, since they're nice and strong, you know, um, this is a vegan soap. This is the CK6 formula. If you're, if you're concerned about that, I do have a, I have this and awesome sauce and CK6 and the beach, and the other scent I have is in the normal formula, not, <clears throat> not the CK6 formula, but they both work <coughs> exceptionally well. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, if you know, one's obviously cheaper than the other one. Like I said, they both work exceptionally well. I don't know that you'll get a better shave out of one than the other. You know, that depends on the person, I suppose. All right, tips dipped in water. Let's go ahead and start painting this stuff on. PAA Southern Witchcrafts, which is right here. Both. Actually, there, there's several. Katie's Bubbles. Um, anyway, I'm not going to... Uh, the Sudsy Soapery. Where, where, the heck are, where the heck are they? The Sudsy Soapery. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um... Uh, all of those soaps, great vegan bases, and uh, you know PA is is definitely in that in that loop as well. Remember the very first time I used PAA? I think it was this soap. I think this was the very first soap that I have from PAA. But I loaded so heavy that I had chunks in the brush and on my face while I was while I was shaving. And I don't think it was with a straight razor. It was with a, uh, it was with a DE. And so I'm shaving, <laughs> I'm shaving off chunks of, of PAA soap, um, because you, you do not need to like this stuff. Is it's kind of like it's kind of like a crepe, right? It, it's it's pretty soft. It's not cream, but it's it's pretty soft, like a crepe. And um, you could just really get in there with a brush and just, you know, whip up quite a bit of lather. And not realize that you have chunks of the stuff in the actual bristles. Be very careful. It's, it's better to underload and go back and load a little bit more than it is to overload and have chunks and never be able to like fully 
utilize the soap because you're just constantly adding water. What made it worse was I think I, I think that shave was actually with a, uh, yeah, we could definitely take some more water. That shave was with a, um, a bore, a bore brush. It was with my Omega 10066 actually. I remember that because I couldn't get the chunks out of it. <laughs> it was bad. I had to let it run under hot water like a while after the shave. But as you can see, very easy to lather, PAA. You get this grade of lather regardless if you have the pre-shave on or not, in all honesty. It does help, the pre-shave, but the lather speaks for itself here with PAA. It's a nice, consistent lather. Like I said, it's really hard to mess it up. It could take its water quite a bit. Like I said, the scents are just phenomenal. They are not, well, the, so the soaps I have, the scents are not on the medium side or medium or lower. They're all like on the higher side of medium and up. Um, this one I would say scent, strength, while lather is probably like seven, seven and a half. On the puck, it's probably about six, six and a half. So, you know, it definitely, definitely gets heavier as you lather it. But uh, yeah, just a phenomenal, phenomenal soap. All right, we have lather like pouring off all the. Edges there. We're just gonna kind of put that on top of the ice cream cone here. All right, cool. So anyway, um, yeah, had a lot to do today. Very productive day. I am tired, and um, <clears throat> this is a night shave. Typically, <clears throat> before like two or three months ago, I, I did like primarily night shaves, and then over the past several months, I've just been progressively doing more and more morning shaves uh kind of trying to make it into a, into like a morning routine although sometimes it's hard because i don't get up early enough to to really do a true morning routine but uh hmm. Very, very nice edge. By the way, newer guys, if you're thinking about using a straight, I have a couple of tutorial videos on this channel, but not only on this channel, but also on the, the Razor, the Razor Company's channel. Um, but you can check those out and uh, <clears throat> if you're not sure where to get your first straight, I sell them. There's a lot of guys that sell them, but I sell them. You can send me an email. You know, we can talk about it, whatever. But uh, I prefer to get newer guys into this as opposed to, like, keeping them out. Because when you put a straight razor in your hand, like, there's something. I had a couple little spots there. There's something that, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just something. That there's, there's a cool factor, but then there's also something else that goes along with using a straight to shave and I mean, our ancestors, I guess, used it. So there's just, there's just something very cool about using a stray, is there? Yeah, when I first got this edge, I wanted to try it. It was not, it wasn't shave ready at all. Unfortunately, right? Because I really, really wanted to like that old edge, but I just couldn't. This one, though. This edge is great. Couple little weepers on the chin. No actual cuts, I just have 
the skin topography on my face is just awful. So, very, very nice first pass though. Feeling good. And boy, do we have lather in this brush. I'm trying to broaden my horizons on uh, honing and whatnot and uh, watching other videos, watching other guys, you know, other guys' videos on honing and stuff and there's different techniques and whatever and I've tried some of them and I don't know, man, just, I think I've found what really works for me in my honing, so not saying, not you know, not dogging anyone else's style or anything, but I just think what I do for me works. I don't know that I've really, uh, I don't know that I'm using anyone's style specifically. By no means do I think I made this up myself. It's just a combination of different styles. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, like from Keith Johnson to Dr. Matt to Devin to uh, the Stallion, uh, Anthony Esposito to um, uh, Robert. I mean, there's just a lot of guys at home and a lot of information I've taken in from when it first started that, uh, yeah. So I don't think I, I follow any of their styles in particular, but just as a whole. And I'd like to do some honing videos, but I, I don't know. I just feel like the guys that watch my videos don't primarily use straight razors, so they're not really, you know, concerned about the video. About the honing video, rather. So. I finished this razor on my arc because it's such hard steel that I was, I need to test it in all honesty, but I was, I was concerned that if I used my Shobu or, well, my Zook is actually pretty, pretty freaking hard, but I was concerned about the Shobu, um, just it auto slurring as I'm honing with this hard steel. and causing an issue. Now, will, will it actually do it? I don't know, but, wow, very, very nice. We'll go against the growth on the cheeks. Other than that, we got our two little spots there, but very nice shave. <clears throat> but yeah, the arc kind of, uh, you know, the Arkansas kind of, instead of, like, to use the arc, in my opinion, how I use it, you got to have your edge on point prior to getting to the arc, because if you finish at the 8K and you go to the arc and your 8K wasn't on point, and anything prior to the 8K wasn't on point. The arc's not really going to burnish as it should. And uh, I've had that happen several times, you know, in my early stages of honing. And, uh, yeah. So you just got to be on point whenever you're using your arc. Your beginning stages, rather. Whew. 
yeah, hope everybody, uh, if you're not catching this during the day, I hope everybody had a great day. The lather just keeps flowing. Let's see. Yeah, we've got enough lather in here to <clears throat> shave a neighborhood. Jeez. <laughs> Santa Claus beard, anyone? watching some some guys shave recently uh, I used to a lot when I first started in this hobby and then you know making videos and work and time and, and the kid and the wife and it's less and less time for watching videos um, of other guys shaving and uh, <clears throat> but I, I've noticed like a trend with some of the guys at least that I'm seeing where it seems like they're they're over hydrating their soap or something like it's very foamy and la uh, very foamy and um, airy and, and just doesn't look like a good lather to me. Now if they shave with it and it works perfectly fine for them, hey man, you know good for you. I'm happy for you. Um, but that lather is not going to work for me. And uh, anyway, so it's kind of why earlier today I went ahead and I was like, you know what? Because I've been using, I've been using Mitchell's, uh, I'm sorry, not Mitchell's, the uh, Williams Mug Soap in here for about a week now. Um, just not recording anything. And I figured out, you know, using a bowl makes it lather a lot easier. And uh, so I figured I'd make a video on that. And because uh, there's, I don't know, it just, it's one of those things, right? Like sometimes you'll see people. Or I do. I see people that use both feet to drive without a clutch. Right foot's on gas, left foot's on brake, and it's like, what are you doing? And um, <laughs> that's not the right way, man. And although it may work for them, and you know, it's not causing anybody harm, nothing like that, it's not the right way. And like when I see foamy lathers, I think the exact same thing, right? Like. It's not the right way. <laughs> you know, you want a nice, dense, creamy, thick lather, man. You don't want a foamy, airy, bubbly. Man, that's not good. But like I said, if it works, hey. Holy. Oh yeah. This cheek. This cheek is good to go. I think I've rambled about a lot this video, but also about nothing at the same time. <clears throat> I typically don't go into videos with topics or anything. I just kind of shoot from the hip and... <clears throat> and I realize like that's off-putting for some guys. You know, when you go to watch a shaving video, you want like the conversation to flow and that type of thing. And that's just not me, man. You know, I'll try to tell you how the soap's working. I'll try to tell you, you know, with what a, whatever I'm shaving with, how that's working. And other than that, I just, I just go with it. And uh, let me rinse real quick. Cold water. Ah. Very, very nice. Cool. All right. Um, let's. You know what? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do some out there. I haven't used stairs in a couple shaves, I don't think. Uh, 
there's cucumber. An astringent we didn't think we not uh, we didn't think we needed, but I think it does prove to be helpful. It can't hurt, right? I don't think. Let's get that off my lips, though. My face is a little red anyway, because <laughs> of the sunburn. I don't know if you can tell on my cheeks. My cheek, my cheekbones are a little red from being out all day. <clears throat> PAA, awesome sauce. Very, very nice. Parasso green aftershave type scent. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's excellent. PAA has a great uh, base for their aftershave as well. It's a really, really good aftershave base. But that's going to be it, guys. Woo! Smells great. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. In the future shaves, actually, probably for the next couple weeks, Three Stooges had commented on my video, my last video, my lathering video, talking about William's mug and how it's no longer available. I have several pucks. I'll just use them sparingly. But this coming week and the week after, maybe even the week after that, we're going to use some of the classics, guys. Palm olive. We're going to use Williams. We're going to use Tabac. We're going to use Cello. We're going to use Parasso. We're going to use a lot of the classics, okay? And uh, we'll use some DEs and get rid of the straight razors for a while. You know, I prefer straight razors. Just a, I don't know, a cool shave to me. But other than that, wow, this is feeling great. So anyway, yeah, we'll be using that. We'll be using those products for, for a while, guys. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you next video.